Today we're going to touch a little bit on the requirements for the Astronautics Activity Badge for the Scouts. Uh, there are two slides that comprise this little presentation, and uh, I believe all of them have to be completed in order to um, qualify for this particular Activity Badge. Uh, this is one of the rarer ones. It's not a traditional scouting skill, um, so very few people have it. Um, there is a related badge that is the uh, Astronomy Badge. Um, which you can sort of combine the two together and do them both at the same time, um, if you'd like to do that. Um, I'd like to mention that building your own satellite dish at the bottom here uh, count, can count towards um, model building, um, which is one of the requirements for things such as the Creative Challenge Award uh, for the Chief Scouts Gold Award, as well as a number of other badges such as the uh, I believe the artist badge and the certainly the craft badge. So you can actually tick off multiple badges in one night if you run this alongside some others and focus a little bit on this model side of things for uh, a moment or two. Uh, some of the other things worth mentioning is that um, given that space exploration and um, the advancements in technology that can result from space is a global uh, sort of issue and goal, uh, this can count towards the uh, the World Challenge Award as well, which is part of the uh, Chief Scout Scout Award too. Uh, going back to the start, um, we'll cover these requirements one at a time. Um, to begin with, find out how craters are formed, what meteorites tell us about the universe. You experiment using marbles, rubble, stones as meteorites, and trace people sand as your moon's planet surface. Um, one of the main things in relation to this, obviously, Finding out how craters are formed is quite easy, but meteorites, uh, what they include uh, in terms of their elements, their chemical elements, can tell us a lot about the universe and the abundance of certain elements. Because uh, if meteorites are full of a certain type of thing, then it's more likely that's going to be out in the universe than not. Um, additionally, there are some theories of life that result from um, life being carried here on meteorites and things like that, which could be interesting to explore in relation to things like... Um, world faiths as some faiths believe in that kind of thing which is of course an activity badge the world faith activity badge um here in the middle we have the compare satellite, satellite images of mars and the moon uh, with satellite images of earth obviously the big difference here being the abundance of water um, and the evidence of streams and such being on mars for example as opposed to the moon also the point that the moon I believe used to be part of the Earth a long, long time ago. So it's made of generally the same kind of elements as the Earth. Um, which could be quite interesting. Uh, valleys, craters and volcanoes. Um, if you'd like to, you could talk a little bit about, um, at this point, uh, the Moon specifically. And that counts towards uh, the astronomy badge, um, which I've covered in a different video. Discuss what Earth observation can tell us about land, sea, and atmosphere. Uh, that's quite obvious as well. And obviously, build your own satellite dish. Uh, this is the one that accounts for the most things towards your Chief Scouts Gold Award and gives you a few extra badges to hand out if you'd like in terms of the craft badge and other ones. Discuss, discuss which everyday items rely on satellites. This is quite an interesting one, um, given that um, most things nowadays have some kind of uplink to satellites, uh, especially mobile phones and things like that. Moving on to the next requirements, um, this might seem like a lot, but really it isn't. Um, in a group debate about life found elsewhere in the universe. Uh, again, this could be a good opportunity to link into things like the My Faith Badge, as well as the World Faith Badge, because obviously some um, religions believe in uh, life originating only in, uh, on Earth, and it doesn't exist anywhere else in the universe. Um, and obviously how that interacts with the current scientific theories and things like that could be quite interesting to explore. Um, and in terms of if you wanted to do something about like drawing what the planets and alien species might look like that could be something to do with the artist badge too find out about the international space station how astronauts live and work on board this is heavily related to the astronomy badge which talks a lot about satellites and i believe that the iss counts as a satellite really for most intents and purposes um, so you can link those two together if you'd like there's plenty of resources online at the UK Space Agency and other places um, about this. 
Uh, moving on, research a current space mission, such as a mission to Mars. There are plenty of um, SpaceX missions currently going on in relation to Mars, which is quite interesting. Uh, but there are also some other ones that are still going on that are out there in the stars. Um, technically, things like Voyager 1 are current, quote-unquote, space missions, but again, I'd go with something a bit more pertinent. Then again, um, the golden disc that's aboard Voyager 1 is a very interesting bit of scientific um, sort of exploration. If you want to Google that, uh, that's a very interesting premise. Basically, there's a golden disc on board Voyager 1 uh, that is um, supposedly able to be read by uh, any creature in existence um, as long as it has at least one sense i believe um here we go uh so then design a model of your own space probe or the spacecraft including instruments on board that enable it to complete its mission again more model making uh, this again accounts to different parts of the um chief scouts gold award build launch and recover model rocket um you could link this with the side dispatch actually um if you're looking at doing things like a Coca-Cola uh, and, and sort of mints rocket, um, that would be a way to link into things like the scientist activity badge, which I'll cover in a different video. Uh, so there are multiple ways you can link this to other such um, activities and badges. And that's all really for the astronautics badge, uh, but to sort of link it all together, there's a lot here that can link to other badges. We've covered things like the craft badge, uh, the astronomy badge, also the scientist badge, and all those things link into the um, uh, the Creative Challenge Award, which is part of the Chief Scouts Gold Award. It's worth mentioning as well that potentially you could have some of the scouts help to run a night for, for example, Cubs on astronomy, um, and cover their astronautics badge that way by talking about the ISS, or perhaps making a video for the Cubs uh, that would also help them to get towards their U-Shape Award and things like that. Uh, that's all for now. Hopefully that's been useful. Thank you.